What is going on guys? We have new blueprints, new operators, new maps, and new camos for Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone Rank Play. This is what to expect from Season 5. In Modern Warfare 2 we get 3 66 maps, one coming in Season, and two gunfight maps. The first 6v6 map is called Putalas, which is in Almas, which is the same city as Mercado, and I'm pretty sure that this is a part of the map in the Invasion version of Mercado, so uh, the creativity is through the roof this year for MW2, as all maps so far have been remakes, uh, but yeah. The next map is called Strike from COD4, and I know a lot of CDL pros and Hundreds alike loves this map. Um, I've never actually like played Cut Force, so I don't know what this map is. But apparently, it's a really, really good multiplayer map, and it's very balanced. So we'll have to see about that. But uh, they put this in as the remake for this season. And finally, the mid-season map will be DRC, and this will probably come in like a month and a half or something. But it looks kind of like an advanced warfare type IW type map, so it might be good. We'll have to see, but that's mid-season, so this is the only screenshot that we've had so far of this map. But so far, it looks very promising. And these are the rank play rewards for Season 5 in both Warzone and multiplayer. It looks like Warzone camo is just kind of like gold camo from MW 2019, but just different colors to match the rank that you are in. But the multiplayer camos look pretty, pretty sick, and I... Really like the diamond camel because it looks makes every gun look like it's a peacekeeper. So that's pretty cool too. Um, so definitely this will revive the rank scene, I feel like, and gives you something to actually grind because so far camels haven't been that great to grind for. So it's nice to see they're actually adding camels that are worth grinding for. And if you happen to be good enough to get top 250, they have shared a animated camo for those special people that reach the heights of greatness and here is is right here shared by charlie intel on twitter look at this oh my god if power rangers was a gun holy cow this would be it it is actually moving it is cool it is white it is gold it is black as far as the modes for multiplayer we have havoc big capture the flag and gunfight variants it's nice to see that capture the flag is in Modern Warfare 2, but it's a bit late because obviously we would have liked Capture Flag to be the fur game mode for the CDL. But you may be wondering, what the hell does Havoc mean? What kind of game mode is Havoc? Well, I'm going to tell you what this game mode is. It's seemingly like there's like special abilities in this mode where it's like ammo fielder where it auto reloads your weapon from stock ammo upon elimination. And then there's boots off the ground, which is basically jetpacks. Flame shot where there's flame tipped crossbows and molotovs. It's a very interesting mode and a little bit of a change from like the boring modes that they already have. Because it seems like all the playlists that they've had for the past couple of years has been like it would be like the new map 24 7, shipment 24 7, and then shootouts 24 7, and then that's just it, you know? Besides like maybe a little bit of a change where it's like, oh, we're gonna add like post quarter maps or something like very uncreative so it's kind of nice that they're actually adding go modes that are somewhat creative and fun because that's kind of what we need in call of duty these days because it's kind of stale from my player standpoint there's not really much of a reason to play multiplayer besides like just playing it because you're addicted to first person shooters or whatever and with every season there is a black cell upgrade for premium battle process users and it is a value of over 7,000 COD points, it says, where you'll get a attack, as you can see there, it's a tracer weapon. You get a new dog finisher move, a new talking gun screen, you know, all the battle pass skips and stuff, six tracer pack weapons, eight operator skins, and two vehicle skins with a operator called Arthur, who has a dog called Merlin, who cannot be shot at, but will attack you in vicious, vicious ways. Now, a lot of people have been saying that this is kind of like a black cell version of the cover of IW, the robot from that. Um, it does look like that a little bit, so, and considering it's an Infinity War game, it probably is him. Um, but if you want to buy it, you can. Um, it's basically the same as the normal premium battle pass, so it's not really that big of a deal. Because most people were buying that before this was even a thing. It just gives you more value 
for your money. And of course, we're not forgetting the FFAR and the W2000 or 200, I think it is, the sniper rifle. Um, they're going to be added to the game. Um, I guess some people call it FAMAS. I don't know if the FAMAS is going to be a burst gun or an auto gun. I don't think they've said anything about that. But what are your guys' thoughts on Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone's Season 5 update? Another cash grab? Good content? Bad content? Whatever it may be, tell us in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time on KLZ.